So today I want to talk to you about the Coulter on the DSX. When the Horizon team uh, were developing this Coulter, there's three challenges uh, for no-till disc drills that they wanted to overcome. Firstly, how we manage trash, how we penetrate the soil and cut into the soil, and finally, how we close at the back. So I'll go through those individually now. Um, Hairpinning and trash can be a problem for no-till disc drills, so that's why we have the opportunity to offer uh, row cleaners on the front. So these row cleaners are fantastic. Historically, a row cleaner um, can be quite a challenge to get set correctly. If you imagine on this six meter drill, we have 32 coulters. If every one of these was on a pin or a spring, it would be quite challenging to set. So that's why we have this double acting air cylinder, which is controlled in the cab, which is, allows us to use a row cleaner, very quickly adjust it, get it dialed in to the right position where we're moving chop straw out of the way, um, but we're not moving the soil or stalling in the soil. So these row cleaners are fantastic. Typically where farmers would use those is when they're running straight behind the combine into chopped straw. So if you're doing a lot of shallow seeding in the summer, perhaps sourced rape, cover crops, that's when these row cleaners come in really handy. The second thing I want to talk about is the coulter and the seeding part of the coulter. Firstly, the coulter is on a parallelogram. Uh, every coulter has a parallelogram that has 32 centimetres of travel in it. We've got hydraulic downforce in here. Typically we can go up to about 300 kgs on the hydraulic downforce. That depends on how heavy the drill is um, divided by how many coulters we have. But we can pressurize that up um, and then we've got the disc here. The reason for the parallelogram is it gives us very, very accurate seed placement and contour following level with the ground. It also allows us to run a row cleaner because this whole unit is running parallel with the ground. So if the coulter needs to go up, the row, uh, the row cleaner and the closing on the rear come up exactly the same. Now we're going to have a look at the disc and we'll have a look at what it's doing in the soil. So the disc on the DSX is an undercut disc. We're running at 10 degrees from vertical and 7 degrees front to back. There are a couple of benefits and why we're having the undercut. Firstly, the undercut is fantastic for helping us to penetrate into hard, heavy soil. So when conditions get really hot, uh, dry in the summer and hard, um, or in the spring when you've got to break through a crust and get to some moisture, the DSX is fantastic at penetrating very heavy soil, uh, simply because it pulls itself in the ground. Also, uh, our depth control is right next to the disc and point of seeding. So our gauge wheel here is what's controlling the depth and dictating where we go. And we adjust that very simply here on that depth adjuster. On the coulter, we run uh, a decup diffuser. These are fantastic because they take 100% of the air out of the air hose, which means we're running uh, with gravity down to the seeding zone. The reason for this is because seed bounce can be an issue for no-till disc drills. So we take all the air out of the airflow, which means gravity is just dropping the seed into the furrow. This allows us to run the drill without any seed firmers or seed firming wheels, um, which can typically get blocked up with trash and aren't particularly fantastic in wet conditions. If you have a look at what we're doing in the soil, the disc has come in at a 10 degree undercut and it is cut into the soil uh, as you can see there. This side wall here has been fractured by the disc so you can see how it's gone in under there and fractured that soil which allows the closing wheel to very easily put that soil back over the seed. The seed will be at the bottom of our channel um, and then the closing wheel comes in and covers that back up. Here you'll see uh, the air bags on the back all our closing wheels are pneumatically adjusted uh, in the cab so we can very very quickly adjust the closing uh, in a matter of seconds if it's really hard heavy land or if it's light soil we can adjust it we can put up to about 70 kilos uh, through these closing wheels which is a lot uh, we can run them with no pressure we can even pin them up out into the ground if you were doing beans and it was very late on and you were drilling deep perhaps you would want to do that you will see on the closing wheel that we run a spiked steel wheel. These are fantastic on heavy conditions and also very dry conditions. We have the option to change this for a rubber wheel, which if you're on very light sandy soil or perhaps if you're running it a lot on cultivated land, might be more suitable. Um, if you have a look at the closing and the job we're doing in the ground, um, we'll just see how well the drill is closed. 
So you can see here how well the closing wheel has got that soil back over the seed uh, and closed for channel off. So you can barely see where we have been with the drill. If I put my trout into the channel and slide it along, this is the soil that we've got on top of the seed. Um, I can move that out and that's my seeding zones there. So if we were seeding today, I would have seed at the bottom of that channel and it's completely closed off by the closing wheel.